Uh, so you had the technology for operating your vessel. You have communication equipment, right? So you, we have a satellite phone. We have a cell phone, an international cell phone. But we even have old school technology that's you know, been around for a long time, such as a ham radio connected to a modem, connected to my computer. There's a, a bunch of different apps that you can use. I use uh, Predict, uh, Predict Weather, Buoy Watch, uh, Surf Watch, and they're great, but they're primarily, they're limited to where you have cell coverage. And so, you know, it's, it's doing coastal cruising, sailing around the bay, and they're very useful. You could get them on your iPhone, your iPad, uh, and whatnot. When you're doing more extended cruising, then I need to rely on pulling down the weather data to my PC, and then the PC is connected directly to the chart plotter. It's a little bit more involved, but it's getting the, me the critical information I need to be able to safely sail from one leg to the next. As a result, we know that we can make a passage safely, and therefore the crew is less stressed out, the boat is less stressed out, and you get to get to what we're really out there to do, which is have fun and enjoy sailing. In the old days, you would use pilot charts, big paper charts, you'd use pilot guides, books, and you still are using that today. But to be able to just quickly get at that sort of information, uh, we actually started with Google Earth. And that was a very useful tool for diving down and checking out little places along the way to see, is it possible to anchor there? What, is, what does the cove look like? And you would see, you could see the prevailing conditions from how the winds were blowing. You could see if boats are anchored there. But the other thing that was highly useful with Google Earth was we could gain situational awareness about places we we're going to that we'd have to navigate through, like the Panama Canal. So we'd actually transit through the canal and see what, what would we expect, where we're going to go through these different locks. We built out our Excel spreadsheet, which then helped us figure out distances between legs, uh, how much fuel we might need to have to cover different legs, helped us do cost planning as well, and it helped us then figure out our weather windows. We got to make sure that we're out of this region when the hurricane season starts and that we're across the Atlantic Ocean before the winter storms start and so on and so forth. There's navigational equipment we'll put on board that's going to integrate with this weather data I talked about. It's going to integrate with my PC computer that's running uh, applications as well. I may be out in the middle of the ocean and unable to get cell coverage or unable to even get satellite coverage sometimes. You can fall back on using your ham radio in your computer and ping a server, uh, a, a weather server, with a little email that will then go fetch a weather map for me. Or will go fetch a what's called a grid file, which is a compressed weather model that I then run on my computer, which is then talking to my chart plotter in the cockpit with the weather overlap, showing me how it, this, the pressure systems are developing. And it's overlapped with my boat that's then traveling through there. We can go about two to three days when we're anchored without having to, let's say, turn on the generator or turn on the engine, which would make use of an alternator to charge the batteries. When we're sailing, it turns out we actually produce a surplus of energy because of the wind generators and the water generators. When we're near the shore, we'll have cell coverage, and there's cyber cafes everywhere. Uh, when we are further offshore, we can use our satellite phone to send a text message. Uh, we can use our ham radio to send a very short, low email. We even have equipment on board that is beaming our position, our latitude and longitude, this direction we're sailing, the speed that we're sailing at, and it goes to a website and it updates uh, that as well. So at any point, somebody can click on a button and see exactly where our boat is and how fast we're traveling. And then of course, uh, you know, as everybody does today, they make use of blogs. And so folks are following us uh, on our blog as well, easedomain.com. The real benefit of all of this great technology and access to uh, detailed weather and planning is it's allowing me to go fulfill a dream, a lifetime dream of mine, and do it with my family who 10 years ago, 15 years ago, might not have been willing to do it because they wouldn't have had the confidence that we could safely do it. And now they, they have that confidence.